Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So you can see this week, I'm going to be talking about Poe, P-O-E dot com. Uh, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, so we've all heard this buzz about all the AI tools that have been released, uh, with the first one being ChatGPT uh, in November 2022. And then this week they launched GPT-4, which we have limited access to unless you're a subscriber. There are ways for us to access this. I've heard that you can use Bing to access GPT-4, or you can use uh, Poe, which is what I've got here on the screen, uh, but apparently it's a one-time use. So <laughs> to use it long-term, then we're gonna have to think of other ways. Um, so I just wanted to share with you, I, I'm just discovering myself. I'm just gonna move myself out of the way what Poe is, but it really just helps to aggregate, I suppose, all the different AI tools onto one interface. Now, I know that ChatGPT is not available in some regions, uh, so I'm using a VPN to access ChatGPT. And what I like about Poe is it already gives you a lot of different AI tools, and then it tells you what specifically each AI tool is used for. So as an example, I've been using ChatGPT as a thought partner. Uh, so just, you know, ideas and research on different topics and areas. Uh, it can write lesson plans. Of course, it's not perfect. So it gives us a skeleton and a foundation to start planning. But it really can help with, you know, definitions, summaries, recommendations, science, how things work, fun stuff, advice, management, travel, poetry and parenting. Now, I haven't used Dragonfly before, but that was something that I was going to have a look at next. And it looks like that Dragonfly is a very similar tool. All of these sub menus are similar. So let's go to Claude. I haven't looked at Claude. Claude looks very similar as well. Let's go to Sage. Sage is very similar as well. ChatGPT, it's all general knowledge. So why don't I try a prompt then? to put in and I'm going to compare the difference between the AI models. So I'm going to say write an email to a difficult parent who wishes to move their child out of a teacher's class. OK, so let's just see what it says. So let's generate that. Okay, dear parent, I understand your desire. I want to take this opportunity to discuss your concerns and explain why. Oh, this is a really great email. My class, let me just move myself over. My class is a safe, supportive environment. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so that's what Dragonfly has generated. Let's see the others. I'm just going to copy and paste. So let's look about, have a look at Claude. Claude. Because I want to know the difference between all of these. So as we know, with all of these AI generators, every single response is unique. So slightly different here. I can't say it's better or worse. I think I would probably look at a few of them and then craft it myself. Um, so that was Claude. ChatGPT is the one that I use regularly because it was the first one released. So let's have a look at what they've got. Yeah, that's lovely too. Yeah. Wow, ChatGPT gave me a longer email. That I like how the different AI chatbots are giving different options for that. So tell me more. Can we schedule a meeting? Like, let's just click on one of these options too. Can we schedule a... Oh, I can't schedule it. <laughs> but it can actually give us, um, you know, an email to do that. Okay, so that's basically Poe and how it collates all the different, I think, AI chat box. Uh, I can't see too much difference at the moment between the different AI tools. Uh, I tend to use ChatGPT only because it was released first, but there are so many that are being released now. So maybe Poe can be this wonderful platform that can house all of the different AI tools that I use. Anyway, if you've got any advice or you've got experience with Poe, let me know. Put it in the comment section below. How do you use Poe? And thank you so much for joining me again this week. And I hope to see you next time.